What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. This will be the spoiler free review for Twisters. This is directed by Lee Isaac Chung. It is written by Mark Smith. It is starring Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, Anthony Ramos, Brandon Perea, Karen and Shipka, and several others. Now, this is supposed to be a standalone sequel to that original film from the 90s, and this is following Kate Cooper, who was haunted by a devastating encounter with a tornado. Kate Cooper gets lured back to a open plains or to the open plains by her friend Javi to test a groundbreaking new tracking system. She soon crosses paths with Tyler Owens, a charming but reckless social media superstar who thrives on posting his storm chasing adventures. As storm season intensifies, Kate, Tyler, and their competing teams find themselves in a fight for their lives as multiple systems converge over central Oklahoma. So, Twisters. I've been seeing all this talk about this being the Top Gun Maverick of the year. And I wouldn't say that. Twisters is not the Top Gun Maverick of the year or even the summer. It's just a solid standalone sequel to its superior predecessor. I like the movie. I just wouldn't go as far to say it is anywhere in the same league as Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Lee Isaac Chung definitely knows how to keep a blockbuster film engaging, even if the screenplay is all over the place at times. Don't get me wrong, Twisters again is a good time, but that's largely due to the undeniable chemistry between our three leads. So our central focus is Kate, a retired storm chaser turned meteorologist. She's put the storm chasing days away and is trying to forgive herself for a tragedy that occurred five years ago. When Javi, an old friend of hers who now runs his own business called Stormpar, I believe, reaches out to her. Anyway, Javi wants Kate to come home to Oklahoma so they can make a difference together and give back to the community by testing some new equipment in the hopes that it can help people be better prepared for these storms. Then there's Tyler Owens, a YouTuber who appears quite full of himself, a self-proclaimed tornado wrangler who isn't what he appears to be. In fact, one of the best aspects of this screenplay is how it examines who is really in it for the wrong reasons when it comes to this storm chasing, whose motives are for selfish gains and to genuinely make a difference in the community. Just as you think you have it all figured out, the story starts digging into how communities are exploited by companies after tragic events and how you can't always judge a book by its cover, stuff like that. Those themes and aspects of the screenplay I thought were conveyed very well through the performances and just from the events that were unfolding on my screen. I truly do have to commend this aspect because when it came down to the characters, their journeys took a while to be something I could root for. I sympathize with Kate's guilt, but the screenplay favors the carnage over its characters, and the problem is it makes the thrilling sequences with the twisters underwhelming at times, even if there are some cool set pieces in the mix, like the very final act during a movie theater travesty. So ironic when you consider where I just watched this movie at. So the examination of this person's morals versus that person's morals kept the characters compelling, even if they are a little thin. There are moments in between the storm chasing where we learn more about Tyler and his childhood, also stuff about Kate and her upbringing. So if there were more moments like that in the screenplay, the action just would have felt more earned. Without it, the action can grow tiresome because there are a lot of storm chasing sequences, whereas I feel the original does a lot better job at making those sequences feel earned and not something that grows tiresome over time. All in all, the screenplay isn't a complete home run, it just does enough right with its three major players, Javi, Kate, and Tyler, and serves up enough carnage I'd expect to see in a film titled Twisters. Daisy, Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, they are both dripping in chemistry. But at this point, Powell seems to be capable of doing this with anyone he's put on screen with. Powell excels at portraying a confident but brash individual. Hell, if I'm being honest, the romantic tension between him and Jones was far more engaging than a tornado wreckage. Jones does a terrific job portraying someone wallowing in guilt. The switch from self-pity to confidence is something she's really good at conveying. They just were amazing together. And there's a lot of teasing when it comes to that romantic tension that just made the performances and made the characters a lot more engaging, again, considering how thin I found them to be. Also, when it comes to the direction, a lot of suspenseful sequences. There's never a dull moment in the movie. It's just that when it came to the action itself, there is so much of it, it does start to feel like it is too much. And it doesn't feel earned because of the fact that, again, the story is favoring the carnage over the characters and the development. Certain aspects can feel underdeveloped, which is what was making the carnage start to feel like a one trick pony at times. Granted, all the sequences were suspenseful. The suspense was just slowly but surely 
little by little leaving each return it was like diminishing return after diminishing return granted once we started learning more about the characters the sequence in the third act that was the most i was invested in somebody making it out alive or possibly not making it out alive before that it was just carnage on my screen and while it's a visual spectacle and the camera work is all good you got to do more with your characters to get me to invest in the carnage that's on my screen i will also say that at times the cgi the <laughs> tornadoes they weren't always that convincing sometimes it was a bit laughable i will say that but they did have some pretty cool set pieces in the movie all in all twisters is a good time uh i thought the pacing was fine granted the, again there just should have been more time to marinate with those characters those tender moments just came and went they didn't really linger on those moments enough for me i wish they would have lingered more on those tender moments where the characters were telling us about themselves um uh, I would give this movie a solid 7 out of 10 if I'm being quite honest. The movie is disappointing to some. I didn't find it to be disappointing. I just don't see why it's being called Top Gun Maverick of the year. That's the part that's baffling to me. Top Gun Maverick was such an amazing movie and I don't think Twisters is anywhere near Top Gun Maverick. I think it is a solid standalone film that gets just enough right to be worth going to the movies to see and it's not preachy even though it has its undertones about giving back to with messages about giving back to the community and how these storms and the weather is impacting people around the nation and around the world it's not ever preachy when it comes to the weather aspect of it all because i know i've also seen people say why aren't they talking about climate change well i mean you can but these days if they if they would have depending on who it was it could have been preachy so i'm glad they didn't really go too much into that again i would give it a 7 out of 10 let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video